So we have a great card, great player, a Jordan Alvarez gold, and overall it's mint near mint. Like Bowman, in traditional Bowman style, it has some scratches on the, like some micro abrasions on the surface of the card. Um, let's see if I can get you guys to see them. They're little, but they're just kind of like laying in there under his arm. I got one running across his chest right there, his face. So we're gonna work on those, but also before we get to that, I wanna show you what we're gonna do to the corners. If you guys can see right at the tip here, we got a little bit of a, took a it took a little hit somewhere. All right, and then the edge right there where the red is, right next to the 50, it's up a little bit. Get you guys the best view I can. That corner looks pretty good. And it's this one too. Just up a little bit. And that's what I was trying to show you that one. Just a little bent. So I'm gonna work on that first. And before you know you, you use humidity and all the other things you guys I share with you just uh, try to keep it simple so what I'm gonna start first with is just the edge and corner tool this is a relatively new card and it might be just as simple as putting it in shape so I'm just gonna go over the little trouble areas slowly And then it's like a, another gloomy, freezing cold day in Michigan. It's cold, it's dry. If we have to use a little bit of straw action in the corners here, which I might for a little added humidity, we might do that and I might retain the card between the two discs for a minute. But just simply going over these corners and edges with the corner tool, already to my eye makes a difference. So I just don't want them to pop back into that, pop back into that place on them to stay nice and flat. And thanks for watching like always. I'm uh, Kurt with Kurt's Card Care and I always do my best to offer solutions to fix minor blemishes, little things like this on your cards. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a little bit of humidity from my straw, from my breath. Well, I see a little something else. Good lighting is a must, guys. If you don't have LED lights that you can aim at your card area, Spend the 20 bucks and get them. You'll see, you'll see everything. So I just wanted to put a touch of humidity on in this area and in this corner down here. And then we'll cover it up. Just that little bit of warm air and a little bit of moisture can really help. Let's do the same thing right here. And when I retain a card in a position I want to protect it and let it just get back to that natural position. I don't, you don't want to smash a card. You'll screw it up. So I'm just going to put oversized, and you guys, these, uh, these oversized penny sleeves are photograph sleeves and they're five by sevens.
just gonna do that and I'm gonna grab one more disc. I'm gonna put it right on top. So now let's take it out and see if we got those bottom corners to work with us. They were just both kicking up a little bit and if it's little and it's fixable like that, I just say go for it, you know? the uh, Not a super tricky process by any means. Perfect. And that was the tricky one. Perfect, there's not kicking up anymore. And in true Bowman fashion, it has a handful of those little scuff marks and stuff running across the front of it. So let's give it a good clean up. And I hope these simple steps will help you guys with your Bowman cards or any, any prism type chrome slash, you know, modern era card with a plastic front and a plastic shiny back. It can be, you know, I can do some cool stuff with cardboard cards when it comes to corners and stuff like that. But sometimes these can be a pain in the butt to work with. So just give it some time. Once you get it, like in the position you want, just do like I did with the disc, just lightly retain it for a for a few hours. I actually left it overnight. This is a day two of this card. So I wasn't in a rush, so I didn't wanna push it. I just let it settle in. It looks great. And what I'm doing right here, guys, just a quick surface polish. The um, Bowman's are awesome, but they just always have surface issues. So you want to try to minimize those as best you can. I had some scuffs going on by his head. I can still see it a little bit running through his jersey, but that kind of looks like more like his hairline scratch. I'm just going after those little like surface abrasion type things. They you collect Bowman, you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to come near his autograph. I'm not afraid if like, you know, a touch of the polish hit the autograph, it's not going to like totally like wipe it off, but I don't even want to get risky like that. Just stay away from it. couple little hair lines in there, but it's probably the best we're gonna do. I'll put, probably put on a couple extra little touches of polish on here to see if any of that stuff is clinging onto the surface if I can get it, but if you're new to my content or you've been following it a while, there's a window of stuff that works, you know, there's a window of stuff that's fixable for sure, but sometimes it can be just a little tiny scratch or something like that that's just dug into the card and just doesn't do anything for you but good news there's a lot of stuff that will work with you i mean it's all about making improvements and this one looks really good and i'm happy with the back corners that worked out great so as always guys thanks for watching i hope this was helpful and if you ever have any questions about working on your cards feel free to reach out anytime I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care.